You know, I have been driving down the interstate for many years, but I have never seen traffic backed up the way it is today. never seen more people here at the State House than I've seen today. We love you, Brad. Jane and I and our kids were all over this place and our daughter in Washington who's marching today. Thank you all very much. What we are saying today here in Montpelier, in Washington, in Los Angeles, and all over this country, Mr. Trump, we are not going backwards, we are going forwards. We are not going to retreat on women's rights, on immigration rights, on workers' rights, on health care rights, on racial justice, on the environment, or climate change. <laughs> Mr. Trump, I've got bad news for you. You are not going to divide us up by gender, by race, by who we love. In fact, in fact, your bigotry and your ugliness are going to bring us together in a progressive movement. Too many women have fought for too many years to make sure that women control their bodies, not the government. We're not going back. Too many women have fought for too many years for equal pay, for equal work. We are not going back. Two and a half million people, mostly low-income women, go to Planned Parenthood for quality health care. We are not going back. We are going to fight for the day when health care is a right of all people. We're not throwing 20 million people off of health insurance and ending the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Yesterday, at his inauguration, Mr. Trump told the American people that he was for working people and against the establishment. Right behind him, in the VIP section, were billionaire after billionaire after billionaire who are the establishment. <laughs> Donald Trump is a fraud. <laughs> and the American people will understand this. If there is any silver lining in the horrendous victory of Mr. Trump on November 8th, it is that now I see in Montpelier in the huge crowd in Washington DC today, I see workers and women and environmentalists and senior citizens and all those 
I see our people coming together. And the lesson that Trump and his friends are going to learn is they are not going to divide us up, but black and white and Latino and Native American, Asian American, gay and straight, man and woman, young and old. We are going to create the kind of nation we know we can be, a nation based on love and compassion, not on hate and bigotry. Thank you all very much.